Hi, my name is Choi In Chong, and today I'm going to talk to you about our ADP project. For this project, our aim is to create a prototype plane for it to achieve sustainable flight after they have power launched. It must be able to bank and land at a destinated point. Our critical design review. We have four group members in this team, including myself. We are Sean, me, myself, Justin, and Jie Long. We are currently in aerospace technology year two, and we are in class T2K1. This is our content page. We have the GAN chart, materials and equipment, SMPC solutions, design parts, controller, aircraft servos, aircraft design dimensions, our choices, advantages and disadvantages of our aircraft, aircraft design drawings, and we use SOLIDWORKS to design our drawings. This is our GAN chart. The blue lines represent the planned timeline for the project, whereas the black lines represent when the actual work was carried out. These are the materials and equipment that we use for our aircraft. We use insulation foam as it is light in weight and can resist impact. Recycle plastic bottles for our fuel sludge as it can act as a suspension while we have a hard landing. We use rubber bands, scotch tape, glue gun and cardboard. This is our SMPC chart. We have four main points for this chart and they are structure, motion, power and control. In structure, we need our structure to be able to withstand hard landings so that we do not need to spend much money on buying new materials to maintain it. For motion, we need our plane to be able to bang at a certain angle, thus the rudder and elevator is needed. For power, we use a propeller and a motor to power up the plane. We also use batteries to power up the aircraft. Hand launch power is also required during takeoff. Last but not least, we have the control. We use multiple channels control systems to control the aircraft. For SMP solutions, we have four main points for it. They are lightweight, reduced impact, landing on target, and fast speed. For lightweight, we use a lightweight material such as styrofoam so as to minimize the aircraft weight. To reduce the impact, we use recycled plastic bottles as the fuel charge. This is to act as a suspension in case of any hard landings. In order to land precisely on target, we attach some round surface materials underneath the payload so as to increase the rate at which the payload decreases. For fast speed, we trim the body into a streamlined body so as to have an aerodynamic shape as it can glide through the air and maintain its speed. We also build a low aspect ratio wing to increase the aircraft speed. These are our parts that we use to design our aircraft. We have the removable wings, fuselage, forward mounted engine, a propeller, a vertical stabilizer, a horizontal stabilizer, a rudder, and a winglet. As for controller, these are our three, three main important parts to control our aircraft. We have the controller, the servo, and the receiver. As for aircraft servos, there will be three servos in the aircraft. Firstly is the primary controller rudder in channel 1. Second is the elevator channel in channel 2. The third is the throttle channel, which is channel 3. This is our aircraft design parts. We use recycled water bottles for the fuselage. We will use insulation foam for the rest of our parts. Okay. The wing will have a winglet as it can reduce wing tip vortex. We also have the horizontal stabilizer, two left and right and side vertical stabilizer and one center vertical stabilizer with a rudder on it. These are our choices for our aircraft. A is the fixed wing rear mounted engine, B is the fixed wing forward mounted engine, for C is the helicopter, and D is the blimp. Hi, I'm Jie Long. Now I'm going to talk about the fixed wing rear mounted engine, their advantages and disadvantages. For advantages, it has better maneuverability and the propeller lies slightly to take damage upon landing and it has a faster speed. So for disadvantages, it increased danger to the launcher and is more expensive, expensive in cost. For helicopter, advantages is it is stable and easy to land. And for disadvantages, it increased complexity and is expensive. For plane, it can fly indefinitely, excellent stability, good at landing. Disadvantages is low speed, bad maneuverability, possible problem when landing, leaking helium, longer preparation time. 
lastly, we have fixed wing forward mounted engine, which is the design we're going to build up. For advantages, it has better maneuverability, stability, proven design, where a lot of people have tested before, easy to build, can be built using water bottle. For disadvantage, just propeller more vulnerable to damage upon landing. This is the speed and speed versus maneuverability graph. And this is the selected design. I have used SOLIDWORKS to do the drawing out and this is the isometric view, the front view, the side view, and the top view. This is the drawing for the tree view. With this, we come to the end of our video. I hope you enjoy it. See you. Goodbye. Thank you.